Hey, welcome again, and let's create an interactive and attractive pivot chart. But the first thing you're supposed to do is to select anywhere in your table, and you go to the Insert tab and make sure your data is arranged in a table. So you click the table, and then make sure your selection includes the headers, like this. So you come and check here. After that, you click OK. After that. Now that the, your data is converted into a table or is in a table format, you come here and select everything using Control Shift, right arrow, and then down arrow. That makes sure that you've selected all your data. From there, you go to the Insert tab and click. Then after that, click on Pivot Table. So you can give your table a name, or you can also, or you can also leave it like that. From there. You choose where you want your pivot table to be placed. By this, I recommend choosing a new worksheet for easier management. And from there, you click OK. After that, now you have your pivot table ready. And here, when you look at the right far corner of your screen, you can see we have the pivot table fields. This is where you choose the data that you want to analyze. At this point, let us try and analyze sales by region. So what you're supposed to do here, you take the region, drag it to the rows. And from there, you take the sales amount and you drag it to the values. Then from there, you can be able to analyze your pivot table. First of all, let's remove the grand total by highlighting it and right-clicking then you come and remove grand total. I prefer working it without the grand total part. So from there, with your pivot table selected, go to the Analyze tab. And then from there, you can create a pivot chart. You insert a pivot chart. Click on Pivot Chart. And from there, let's choose a column chart at this point. So we are going to use a clustered column chart, this one. And from there, you can click OK. Now we have our chart ready. We can place it there. Then from there, we can create a second chart. It's possible. So we are going to create another pivot table. Copy this. Control Shift, left arrow, down arrow. Control C. And then you come and choose P cell and paste it there, Control V. So from there, you can uncheck this so that you can create another new pivot table. In another pivot table, let's analyze sales trend over time. And with this, we are going to use the date and we are going to drag it into rows. And from there, we can also drag the sales amount and we place it at uh, the values. So now we have we have our second pivot table and the row labels are customized by years. You can see it's sorted by years. You can group this by clicking on one of the years and then right click and then you come and group. You can group either by days, seconds, minutes, hours, days, months, even quarters. So at this moment, let's choose months. And from there, with our pivot table selected, we can go into the Analyze tab and insert our second chart. At this moment or at this point, we are going to choose a line chart and then we press OK. So we have our second chart. Drag it properly and align it with your pivot chart. To understand sales patterns across the week, we are going to create another pivot table and add another column chart or even a bar chart. So first of all, let's select this one, Control Shift, left arrow, I mean right arrow, and then down arrow like that. Control C to copy. And then you come right down here and you paste it, Control V. Then from there, 
we can create or customize our fields. Sales amount stays like that. Then the day of the week. So we are going to use sales by day of the week to create that chart. So let's drag. Let's first of all uncheck this and drag day of the week to the row table, to the rows. So after we've done that, now we can add a pivot chart from here. So we go to the Analyze tab, and then we add a chart. This time, let's choose a bar chart. And then from there, you click OK. So our bar chart is ready. You can position it close to your pivot table. So let's see whether it's possible for us to add another chart. We can add another pivot chart to visualize sales di distribution by region. So let's copy this with Control Shift, right arrow, down arrow, then Control C to copy. Then we come and paste it here. So uncheck this. And at this time, we are going to put our sales amount at the values, then drag region to the rows. Then from there, our pivot table is ready and we can add a pivot chart. And this time, because we are visualizing at the sales distribution, we are going to use a pie chart, or some people call it a donut chart. And then from there, you can click OK. And now from here, you can drag and place your chart close to your pivot chart for easy visualizing. We can also visualize top selling products by adding a bar chart. And with that, we are going to select this again, Control Shift, right arrow, down arrow, Control C to copy, and then we paste it down here. Control V. From there, we can use, we can uncheck this, and then the sales amount in the values, we use the product and drag it to the rows like that. Now from there, our pivot table is ready and we can insert a bar chart to visualize the top selling products. You go to the Analyze tab, choose a chart, pivot chart, and then you come and choose a chart, this time a bar chart. And from there, you click OK. That's our bar chart and it's ready. You can add as many as pivot charts as you want. You can add as many as you want because it's good to go into detail in visualizing your data. And from here, in the next video that we are going to create, we are going to look at adding more charts or adding more pivot charts. And from there, we can move from adding charts to pasting, copy and pasting them into another clean sheet or into another new sheet to create a dashboard.